Way to go. Keep it going. Good job, guys. All right, Paul, I see you. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here from the Today's Leader Podcast. Welcome to Monday Mentoring. The Coach Curl Podcast is brought to you by Think and Grow Business, the home of the Think and Grow Business Mastermind. If you're serious about growing your business, get serious and join a mastermind group today. Find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to Monday Mentoring. Last Friday on episode 236 of the Today's Leader podcast, we featured Adam Mendler. Now, Adam shared some real insights into leadership and one of those insights was a concept that he called the credibility gap. And today I just want to mentor on that particular point. What is the credibility gap, and importantly for a leader, how can I reduce it? And when we talk about what what is evident right around the world today in the crisis that envelops and swallows the world, the credibility gap is something that is standing out with a number of leaders. Because what we know is that leaders, when they head into a crisis with a credibility gap, often the gap will widen during the crisis. It's a very hard thing to address as we meander or walk our way through the crisis. So leaders heading into a crisis with a credibility gap are going to be at long odds to be able to resolve it. And even in good times, leaders with a credibility gap often will struggle to resolve or reduce or minimise the gap because the credibility gap really does undermine you as a leader and undermine what it is that you're attempting to do with your team. And often it's because we just don't have the awareness. We just don't have the awareness of what it takes to build and grow our credibility. And some will say because credibility is subjective, But there has been some very clear guidance created by some leadership research in in and around what credibility is and how you as a leader can effectively grow that credibility. The one that I'm going to refer to today is from Stephen Covey Jr. from his book called The Speed of Trust. And it's one of the the better leadership books that I've um, ever read or applied in my life. The Speed of Trust really does detail to us so much about how a leader can build trust within a team and how having trust will reduce our cost and maximise our speed. And in that book, Stephen shared the four cores of credibility. And this, to me, is the real foundation of what credibility is. And once we can understand it, we can master it. So once we can understand what credibility is, we can actually master it. Now, Stephen calls it personal credibility. He calls it the beginnings of self-trust, which is part of the process for the speed of trust. But it's relevant when we talk about what is credibility. So let's dive in. Um, He calls it the four cores of credibility. So the first core is integrity. So are you congruent? Are you in alignment? Are your actions matching the words that you're saying? Are you in alignment with that? Are you congruent? Do people see you as as a leader with integrity? Do they trust that integrity? Second core is our intent. And our, our intent is driven by what is our agenda. So are you open? Are you transparent? Are you truly a caring leader or are you driving an agenda for you? Is there a hidden agenda within your actions as a leader? Are you focused on the end game or are you capitalising on the short game? Do others 
have a reason to trust you. So those first two cores are all about us. They're all about us as individuals. Integrity and intent, really important to understand that. The second, uh, sorry, the, the second half of the four cores, so we look into core three and core four, are all built around our skill set. So core number three is our capabilities. So what are our skills and are they relevant? So what are our skills and are they relevant? So so many people will talk about leadership within industries, but if your leadership skills are transferable and can move into other industries, you are relevant. But if you are really focused around being a leader in a set industry, potentially your capabilities are not relevant if you were to move and shift industries. So think about that. Um, what are my skills and are they relevant? Are the skills that you obtained from 10 years ago, are they dated? Are they 20 years ago? Have you maintained relevance within your skill and capability framework? Just a question to ask. And the final core is results. What is your track record? So as a leader, we all have a track record. We've all got a track record of either success, middle of the road, maybe a couple of failures along the way, but we've got a track record and that helps us build and um, show people our credibility. So let me just walk through those again. Core number one is integrity. Core number two is intent. Core number three is our capabilities. And core number four is our results. And when they're combined, we build this powerful core for self-trust and a powerful core for reducing the credibility gap. I hope you've enjoyed today's session of Monday Mentoring. I hope you have an absolutely amazing week. What I want you to think about this week is reduce the gap. So where can you focus to help you reduce the credibility gap? Until next week, I'll see you then. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to our Monday Mentoring Session today. I hope it gives you momentum to reach out for your dreams. If you're looking for an extra boost, check out my online academy for access to over 75 programs to help you build a better mindset, enhance your leadership skills, and boost your business. You can trial it for just $1 for the first month at the Coach Curl Academy. Dot com. Remember, wherever you are, you are standing stronger, braver and wiser. Have yourself a successful and a productive week. And remember the golden rule. Just don't be an arsehole. I'll see you next time.